This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to create Z spheres on the surface of a subtool? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo anime head here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating Z spheres along the surface of the mesh. So let's say with the anime head here, I want to start generating some Z spheres, maybe to make some patterns or designs on the surface of the mesh. So is there a way I can go through and generate these Z spheres and have them snap to the surface? So the answer is yes, and the process to do this is pretty simple. So the first thing we need to do is navigate to the tool palette over here and open the subtool area. And in here, we just want to append in a Z sphere object. So I'm going to locate the append button and click this to open up the quick pick menu here. In here, I want to locate the Z sphere primitive and just click that. After you click that, you'll notice you now have two subtools in your list. So you'll have your head and then also that Z sphere that we just appended. I now want to come through and select that Z sphere. And if I take my model here and rotate to the side and get out of perspective and then say activate transparency, you'll see that the appended Z sphere is sitting kind of in the center of the head here, but it's sticking a little bit out and it's a little bit large. So I'm going to come through and I want to adjust this Z sphere quick. So I'm going to do this with the move and scale options. So I'm coming over here and activate move and then in move mode, I want to make sure I have symmetry active. So I'm going to press X on my keyboard. And now if I click and drag on that Z sphere, I'll be able to move it in space so I can center it to the middle of the head here. Can then switch to scale and scale it down a little bit. So now it's inside the main portion of the head. So now after I've adjusted the appended Z sphere here, I now want to rotate back to the front of the model and then get out of transparency. So now what I want to do is I want to start drawing Z spheres on the mesh. Now, if you're in draw mode and you have the Z sphere subtool selected, when you click and drag on the surface of the model, it's going to look at the position of that subtool on your screen and it's going to automatically snap your cursor to the surface and it's going to draw the Z sphere where that snap happens. So with my Z sphere object here, I want to make sure that I have that Z sphere selected first. So I'm going to locate it in the middle of my model. You can activate transparency to make this a little bit easier. I just want to hold control and click to make sure it has a red circle around it. So that's going to determine where the Z sphere is going to be drawn from. So this is the root Z sphere here. So my next one is going to be connected to that. Now I can get out of transparency and I'm going to come across the surface of the head here and I'm just going to click and drag, make sure I'm in draw mode. And you're seeing I'm going to generate a Z sphere right on the surface. So as you draw this out, it's going to look at any visible subtools and it's going to snap to their surface normals. So you can see I've just applied that Z sphere right there and it is snapped to the surface. Now I can come across and continue creating more Z spheres off of that one. You wanna make sure that the, the one that you're drawing from will always have this circle around it. So you can see I have that one selected there. So now if I click and drag here, I'm gonna draw a, another Z sphere here. If you want that Z sphere to be the same size as the one you just drew, just hold down shift after you draw it and then release. And that's now going to be the same size. So I can just continue across my model here, just clicking, dragging, holding shift clicking, dragging, holding shift, clicking, dragging, holding shift. And now I can start generating the Z spheres on the model and it's gonna snap to the surface. Now, if you wanna start from another Z sphere to continue your design, just come across the Z sphere, hold down control and click. That's going to select it. And now I can click and drag again, hold down shift, click and drag, hold down shift, click and drag, hold down shift. And now I can just continue drawing Z spheres on the surface of my model and they're going to snap to any of those visible subtools. So the process again to get these Z spheres to snap to the surface of the model is just make sure that you have a visible subtool in your list, then append a Z sphere into that area. After you have that Z sphere appended, you may need to adjust it a little bit. And then if you're in draw mode, and if you come across the surface of any visible subtools and click and drag, this is going to automatically snap to the surface of that mesh. So you can see as I'm coming through here, those Z spheres are snapping to the surface of the head model and it's giving me this result. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.